Hey, g'day guys. Uh, Heath O'Loughlin here, General Manager of Media for North Melbourne. We're coming live from the rooms where the players here are getting ready for training, which starts at about 9.30. Uh, so 9.30 training session, Jed Anderson and Kane Turner there in the moon boot. Look at the moon boot. Look at that poor bloke. Broke his foot. Kane, we're live on Instagram. <laughs> Don't swear. Talk, talk to us about the foot, mate. How, how's it going? Good. Uh, no crunches at the moment, so fingers crossed out of the boot in about a week. All oh, right. So boot out of the boot in a week. Yeah. Start running straight away, or what? What would that uh, be? Build it up slowly. Yeah. Um, just yeah. Put some load through the bone, and then <laughs> fingers crossed it pulls up right, and then start running. So would that be Alter G, the treadmill that takes your weight? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. First, probably two weeks of that, and then uh, on ground walking, then on ground running. And they have to see how the bone's healing as well, obviously. Yeah, we'll get into follow-up scan in a couple of weeks just to make sure it's healing as it should be. Okay. okay. How'd you break it, <laughs> Ooh, how'd you break it? How'd you break it, Kano? No answer. Tough. <laughs> uh, ben Brown, Hello, mate. getting ready for training. Um, yeah. Mate, how's the feeling around the group with the whole coronavirus thing, I suppose? Yeah, it's good. Um, the, the feeling's really good because we know we've got around one that we're preparing for this week, I suppose, and so um, we're all preparing for that. You know, there's a lot going on around the world at the moment and within the club, and, uh, you know, it's difficult to process, but I think we've just got to do our best to get ready for round one. That's our that's our job. That's what we're going to get ready for. Lots of questions coming through on Instagram Live here about your calf, obviously, so give us an update. How's it tracking? Yeah, it's going really well. So um, did a bit of training yesterday and a bit of training last week to um, train on Thursday and all things going well with that I'll be ready to go for round one so feeling really positive about it haven't had any setbacks which was the key thing for getting right for round one for me so the, the rehab's gone really well it's, we've done everything we needed to so um, now I'm really excited to get out there on the weekend so round one we're locking you in or just barring no little hiccups as long as I, as long as I get through Thursday but I, there's no reason why I shouldn't get through Thursday as I said I've had no hiccups up until now so um, hopefully all things positive and all ready to go for the weekend all right, so it's training preparation now I'm just going to spin this camera around and you can talk us through what we're seeing just here yeah yeah so um, Taylor Garner here he's on the um, I suppose the hamstring testing machine so I suppose these three machines here uh, can detect that they, they are tests that we do every week to make sure that um, you know all of our muscles are firing the way that we want to for training. Uh, it gives the physios and sports science staff uh, a little bit of feedback on how our bodies are coping with the loads of training. So if they're noticing any trends, um, say you know when you push up into these, they give you a um, you know a reading on uh, how, how many kilo, how much kilos of force you're pushing through. Um, those so if that, if that's declining, um, they can see that over a number of weeks, and they'll be able to, um, I suppose, pull you out of training or perhaps send you out a little bit later than the rest of the group just to deload you a little bit, and it, it helps them predict, um, uh, I suppose, your um, injury risk. So if you're if you're declining in a certain area um, over a number of weeks, they might just alter your training to make sure that your your injury risk is decreased. Okay, we might join Majak here doing his little exercise. Thanks for that, Benny. Madge, which test is this one? Um, oh, hang on one sec. We're getting yelled at here by John Siegel. <laughs> Sorry, Johnsy. <laughs> We're just waiting here. Madge is going to do a test here to see if he's ready to train. Just setting up the equipment. Mind your own business, Heath, is what we get from sports science all the time. <laughs> John is probably the most media-friendly bloke at North Melbourne here. Actually, I'll take that back. He's not. All right, we're back on the gentle pressure match. I'm give this All right, so we're doing the abduction test here. Relax. Just to test the hips out. Um, Again, what this? So, <laughs> just doing the warm-up at the moment. Relax. And then the real test. Okay, gentle pressure right now. Yep. Ready? Talk us through, Madge. Okay, so I've got to push One more up. build up over five seconds. <laughs> so I've got to push you out when it's ready. Um, close to my PB. Push, 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 push. Nice. Yeah. Any pain match? Shit. Shit. Yeah, gentle pressure on the pain. Push, push, push. 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 Push,
retaining my pass. So where were you pushing them, Madge? Pushing outwards? Is that right? Yeah, just pushing outwards. <laughs> okay. And did you do a PB? Oh, no, not today. PB, Johnsy? No PB? Maybe, good to train. So you get the tick of approval to train now? Yeah. All right. Madge is on. Cool. And now Marley's about to do his one. I'm not getting more to do this. Marley's squeezing inwards. Yeah. Benny yes, Brown's going to be doing the hammy <laughs> test. Let's go into the uh, medical area and we'll see if any of the boys are getting strapped. Getting some physio here. It's like uh, Lukey McDonald's getting some work done. Lukey, we're Instagram living. Oh, yeah. Getting some work done just before training. Yeah, it's grinding. 24-7. So <laughs> doesn't stop, man. Yeah. Doesn't stop. Obviously, your foot getting some treatment, is that? Yeah, on oh, no, my ankle. So ankle, yeah. broke yep. it last year, yep. so Christian, the great man, look at him, he's just had a haircut. No <laughs> he look, he does look five. good, Christian, doesn't he's he? He's been to the gym this morning, so <laughs> yeah, no, just looking after a bit of maintenance, but I'll be right. So what, what's your sort of training preparation? We're at, like, obviously about 25 minutes from training, so you obviously get some treatment on your ankle make yeah. sure that's ready to go and then strapping would that be next oh uh, yeah well i wake up pretty much every morning my ankle's stiff as so got to uh got to loosen up with a great bear christian uh and then yeah then i'm good to go after a bit of strapping as well all right thanks bro good no luck thanks christian no worries. more boys just getting strapped here for training tommy campbell no way, instagramming live to oh. the fans. Hey fans, how are you? What are you? Uh, what are you doing here? A bit of self strapping. Bit of self care, yeah. In these times of uh, trouble, you know, look after yourself, and uh, we'll all be well. So your wrists, is it, or thumbs, or wrists and thumbs? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so many marks that I take. <laughs> Try and look after them. Yep. Yeah. So you do it yourself? You can't find a physio, or you just don't need no, one? No, I always do it myself. Yep. Okay. All right. We got Nick Larky over here on the stirrups. What's going on? Hey, Lux. What are you? Uh, what's your normal training prep? Uh, just get uh, get strapped, do assessments, test my hammies, and then have a feed, have a Pepsi, and then Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi in the morning. Really? Yeah. Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max in the morning. Yeah, it's like my coffee. Right. Like, it's just never had coffee. There's no sugar in Pepsi Max, so that's what gets me up in the morning and then ready to train. So we're like 23 minutes away from training, and you haven't eaten yet. No. So will you kind of train on a full stomach or would it just be a little snack? Uh, no, I'll, I'll get as much as I can yeah, before training. Okay. Yeah. Dale Brown 47 says, hi Nick. Hello Dale. <laughs> um, and Jai Simkin over here as well, getting hey, strapped boss. by the great Al Wright. Hey. Hey Al. Hey. Oh, hey. Yeah. oh sorry, I thought I was really sure there. Um, <laughs> Jai, what's, what's your training prep? Oh, I've got the great man Al here, taping the ankles. Um, bit of gym work this morning. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. Now I'll go chuck the boots on and get out there, I reckon. What, how much gym work would you do pre-training? Um, we got some IP, so a bit of individual preparations. Everyone has their own different stuff, but a bit of core work and just uh, get the glutes firing, mate. Ready to go. Let me get out there. Okay. Um, what's your feeling with this? Um, obviously, the world's going a bit crazy, to be honest, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not the expert. I think Silver's more the expert on the old coronavirus. But um, uh, we'll be right. We'll get through. Daniel Daniel Brown on Instagram just said you're a captain in waiting. How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a long way to go, Daniel. Long way to go. <laughs> Thanks, Jaiza. Well, sorry, bro. Will Walker. Back in action on the weekend. Got the rock and the bucket hat. You like the yeah. bucket hat, don't you? Yeah, there's a couple of us that rock the bucket hat. Um, Hall is a big bucket hat advocate. Aaron Hall loves a bucket yeah, hat. Yeah, um, It's a dying art, though, the bucket hat. So more of them in the world. How are you feeling? Your knee on the weekend obviously played uh, another VFL game, your second one. Yeah, um, really good. <laughs> contrary to reports, it was your first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, second game. Um, so I played my first one week before. But, um, no, nah, nah, he's feeling great. And hopefully I'm um, in a bit of contention soon. For so... Um, yeah, we'll just keep going and we're going. Well, David DK underscore says he loves the hat, so um, you're getting some, getting some fans out, bro. <laughs> Paula Hearns also just getting strapped here. Paulie, ready to go. Ready to go Sunday, Paulie? Yeah, ready to go. Ready to go. Good work. So this is the uh, sort of player treatment area. Um, doctors, that's the doctor's room. And uh, we might wander down to the kitchen, see if anyone's having a feed. 
Nick Larky style. So this is the uh, hallway down toward the AFLW rooms, which girls are in there. Kitchen is empty. Anyway, we'll give you a look at the kitchen. We'll have a look at what's on the on the cooker. Whoop. Plenty of eggs, nice. Plenty of bacon. Baked beans were popular this morning. Bit of a salad bar here. Avocado, fruit, porridge. Looks like the boys have um, ripped through it pretty well. So we'll head back. Here's Matty, our head physio, just on the phone, working the phone, trying to figure out if everyone's ready to go for training. Through here is the uh, ice baths, sauna, steam room, ice baths. Zanelli in nine wants me to go find Connors, see if he's been fishing lately. We'll go and see if we can get Connors. He loves talking to me. We'll head back down. This is the uh, player's entry hallway and back into the gym. Right, Toddy Goldstein, have a chat to Toddy Goldstein. Goldie, we're Instagram living, just interrupt your conversation there with uh, the governor, That's right. Alex. Do that. Look at the size of that bloke. Generally do that. I do interrupt you a lot. How are you going, Goldie? Yeah, no, going well. Going well. We've fought around one. So from a player's perspective, is it just all systems go for Sunday? We're just working towards Sunday? That's all you can do? Yeah, that's 100% focus. You know, we'd love to know exactly what's going on, but at this stage, all we know is that round one's going ahead and, and we're pretty focused on trying to have a, a good game on Sunday. You know, that, that's what's driving the group. Yeah, and uh, preparation-wise, how are you going? You've been running the house down in pre-season. You've been able to keep up that fitness base and um, still still going pretty strong? Yeah, I mean, our training hasn't really stopped. So, no, we, we haven't missed too many sessions. We've, we've got a little, little bit of game fitness through the Mars series. So, yeah, as far as we go from fitness-wise, we're, we're ready to go. All right, good on you, Toddy. See you out there, bud. One of our youngsters, Flynn Perez, over okay, here working with Alex Moore. Good, mate. Yep. He's been putting in the hard yards in the gym, Flynn. Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> he looks pretty good, Flynn. You allowed to talk while you do that, Flynn? Um, you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what, what's this exercise all about? Uh, this is called the paraspinal hold. Yeah. Yep. So, go, do you want to go again, please? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to do another one? Yeah. So all right, talk us through it. Talk us through it. Uh, core stability. And, okay. You know, just make sure you, yeah, your core's engaged. So, just get ready for training and... Yeah, get it switched on. So, so you got to wait there. So you basically just trying to, try to hold yourself up pretty yeah, much. Hold yourself up and then extra weight makes it a little bit more harder. So, yeah. All right. You pretty much live in this gym at the moment, don't oh, you? Oh, a little bit, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll be back out there soon. Though. Yeah. How much training you're able to do at the moment? Oh, I'm actually in the full training this week. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, it's um, yeah, making progress, but still a little bit off playing. So. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for chatting. Yeah. No worries. All right. Flynn Perez there, draftee. Going to be a gun. We'll go out to the players' room now, see if anyone's playing table tennis. Probably not, but I'll show you the uh, players' room anyway. This is the... Uh, here's Carly, our property manager. Hello. Always working hard, Carly. <laughs> so, table tennis table. A few boys just playing some uh, FIFA. Let's go and play some FIFA. Who we got? Bailey. Bailey and Jack Marnie. Good. Playing some uh, FIFA. Yeah, some, uh, All right. Pre-training warm-ups. We're Instagram live, so you and Jack play this often, do you? Or? Nah, nah. We're both pretty poor at this. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> too <laughs> I think um, Jared Pollock's probably the one to beat, or Paula Hearn. They're both pretty good at it. So that's oh, all. That's guy. all they do at home, you reckon? Just they playing spend FIFA. Spend a bit of time on it, yes, they do. All set for round one, you boys? Yeah, we're all set, so hopefully it goes ahead. Uh, this stage we think it is, and we're, yeah, we're preparing to play. Okay, I'm, I'm going to duck across. I'm going to block your view quickly, talk to Jack Marnie. How are you? Yeah, good, bro. Um, so you had a pretty good pre-season, Jack. Like, you got a lot of games in. Um, yeah. What was the experience like for you? Yeah, no, it was great fun. Like, just getting out there. Um, 
against the dogs at Marvel and then Sydney at, in Tassie um, playing against AFL players. It was a cool experience. Um, I feel like I'm um, like adjusting to the level, which is good. So, no, I've loved it so far. Did it sort of the level take you by surprise at all, like the speed, the, the ferocity, the all that sort of stuff? And are you ready for it to take uh, another step up if yeah. you're lucky enough to play round one? Yeah, I think it's just everything's a lot quicker. Um, like the bodies are bigger, but that's not too much of an issue. Um, I think it's just you've got to make decisions faster and be quicker with the ball. Um, oh. I think the two games have put me in a better spot, hopefully, going forward. So, oh. yeah, hopefully get a game. Well, hope, yeah, hope to see your name on the team sheet yeah. pretty soon. All right. What's the score here, boys? 2-1. 2-1 to who? You're winning, Jack. Good work, Jack. All right, thanks, boys. There we go. This is the players' room. All right, who else are we going to go try and find? Luke Davies Uniac. Lukey. How's it going? Good. We're Instagram Live. Yeah, I love it. Love you, man. You always got these bright boots on everywhere yeah, you go. What, what is it with yeah. the what is it with the bright boots? No, it's actually feel a little bit faster sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully get noticed out the field. <laughs> Mate, how are the groins? Uh, obviously yeah. you're off for a little bit at the moment, just deloading, um, and then hopefully just ramp back up and get back yeah. into it. Yeah, so I'll be on ground running by next oh, by Wednesday and then um, yeah, I'll be Hopefully ramping up and running. So. Okay, so Wednesday. Cool. Got yeah. a date. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's all right. good. So it's all coming along. All right, get back out there as soon yeah, as possible, right. bro. Cheers. Thanks, man. Uh, what about Robbie Tarrant? Fine, Robbie Tarrant. Big Taz. <laughs> We're Instagram live. Yeah, it's turning the GPS on, mate. Oh, so what's this? So what are we doing here? Is this obviously training's 13 minutes away? Yeah. GPS in, turn it on, get out. So wear it like a bit of a sports yeah, bra type boob thing, yeah? Tube, mate. <laughs> boob tube. And then that's it. We don't so, really see much of it. Just the data gets analysed and they just judge our loads and that from there and adjust sessions. Next week, we'll go a little so bit. while you're out there training, someone's just got every single movement you make. They're tracking it. Yeah. Um, are you are you wary of that when you're training? Like, do you kind of consciously know that you've got to get your top end speeds up or your efforts or whatever? Or do you uh, just not really. you just train and then um, they they set drills up to get what they want out of it, whether it's longer running or higher speed or whatever it is. And then yeah, they just um, at the end of it collate it and then um, adjust the sessions. Coming up to the games, yeah. Got a few little comments coming through. So, <laughs> Alex Mann's got you down for All Australian this year. Is that all right with you? Uh, nah, who knows, mate. <laughs> Just uh, try and get a kick first, eh? And we've got so many uh, defensive counterparts here. Josh Walker, new to the club. Joshy, what's it like working next to Taz in uh, training and everything? Uh, no, it's good. It's good. He's uh, very professional with kids like that. It's uh, <laughs> really good. <laughs> <laughs> Look great, Taz. No, no, it's been good. We're uh, excited still for for everyone at this stage. All right, you've been enjoying your time at North. Yeah, Obviously, under a lot of different circumstances with this yeah, coronavirus yeah, no, thing. Absolutely, but... absolutely, it's been. Uh, they've, they've made me feel very welcome. The uh, the players and the staff. So okay. No complaints at this All stage. Right. I'm loving it. Good on you, bro. Yeah. I had a few requests for the captain, and I just saw him. Cap. Hello. Hey, buddy. Look at Robbie Tarrant with your shirt off. Center, center out. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. This is this is this is rated PG for uh, Instagram Live. <laughs> Zeebs, this is Instagram Live. A lot of the fans wanted us to come and find you. So, just talk us through training prep, right? Yeah. So, obviously now out on the oval. Countdown clock over there says 11 minutes. If someone doesn't cross the white line within that time frame, what happens? I don't train. So, um, since Shaw has come on board, he's been big on punctuality and making sure that we do the little things well as a footy club and um, yeah, something as simple as that. Training starts at 9.30, so if you're not out here ready to train with your mind in the game, then there's no point coming out here, which is it's been received well and it, it actually helps us start training well, so it's, uh, it's been good. So do you like to like get out here 10 minutes before? Or can yeah, you... generally, you do probably 10 to 15 minutes before, depending on what you've got to do before the training session. Um, and you'll see the boys when you come over here, they're, they're stuck to in season sometimes we limit the time we have on the ground um, with recovery so we try and use every minute we have to get better round one yes for you yes big time yes <laughs> good luck all right we'll just see who else is heading out sammy durden how are you buddy 
Beautiful Arden Street Oval. A lovely day. Here comes Mason Wood, Dom Tyson. Bright. Bright. Wish you could wear sunnies for training. Too much time inside, guys. Get outside. <laughs> James Dot Bloor. Uh, training goes until probably around 11 o'clock. So it starts about 9.30 till about 11. Today's not the main session. Um, the main session is on Thursday. So the boys do a bit more uh, Instagram. PG from Josh Walker. So now it's probably a little mad rush for some of the boys to get ready for training. Uh oh, uh oh. Here he is. Watch the look he gives me when he realizes. Look at. Oh, oh. That cunner's. Sort of stalk him a little bit. He's really, really into media, as you know. Um, he's, locked us, he's locked us out here. Let us in there, Matty. Just, oh. Cunners. It's just one question. It was about fishing. It's about fishing. What? Have you been fishing lately? Uh, yeah, not as much as I'd like to. Where, where did you go last time? Um, back home. Thick. <laughs> Jay, mate. Where's back home? Like, Princeton. And did you, how'd you go? Good day? Bad day fishing? A couple of trout. All right, I'm going to just leave it there. See you, mate. <laughs> there you go. That's about as much as you'll ever get out of uh, Ben Cunnington. Jay Mack, hey, you, why did you grab his hair? Oh, he's on um, advanced hair, yeah, yeah. And do you think it's thickened up? Like it's... Mate, everyone can see it's thickened up. <laughs> he's thinking about putting the old wave gel in there. <laughs> you know, the six-footer rolling. <laughs> um, buddy, training session, so there's about... Just testing you, mate. It's about... Uh, sorry, can, yeah, sorry, we'll wait until he's finished. Um, you're about eight minutes, so you're nervous that you're not going to make it out there in time. Nah, nah, mate, it's, um, we're going to watch every day. Just make sure it's, uh, we do have eight minutes, but this will take me another 15 seconds just to do this. And then, and then I'm out. And then you're out. Cool. Get out there, buddy. I might just wander up Tommy Murphy. I might just wander up Aiden Bonner. He goes, Bailey's finished. Did you win? It was a draw. <laughs> Just gonna go upstairs to the coaching department. We'll see if we can find Reese. Sure. This is the admin area. It's pretty empty at the moment um, due to obviously coronavirus. There's not much going on. Everyone's working from home. So this is the coaching department. There's Brady Rawlings in his office over there working some stuff out. This is. Uh, Ray Shaw's office here, which is also a match committee room, which is exciting. No one's here, so it means the coach might be out on the track. And then, for those of you who haven't seen before, this is the new building in this way, which is like the coach's tower upstairs. There's Ron Casey with the Premiership Cup. So this is where a lot of the coaches watch training from. It's an amazing view. You can see out there on the clock, we've still got six minutes, 12 seconds left. There's Noni, one of the uh, analysts getting ready for training. Might go talk to Noni about what she does. There's Noni's in charge of the scoreboard. Noni, we're hey. Instagram live. Hi. <laughs> Noni, as one of the analysts, just quickly explain what you do for training. Yeah, so we analyse the skiing side of the player's performance. So we've got quite a few of us around the ground. We film on four different camera angles. So we've got a drone out there, a behind the goals camera on the side of the building, a side view, and one like what you see on broadcast. One of us runs the scoreboard, so we put up the training drills, time everything, everything sort of to the clock these days. And yeah, we just try and help out and give um, the players and coaches feedback. All right, awesome. Beautiful. Thanks for that, man. Yeah. All right. Nice little explanation. One of the analysts in there. Everything is uh, scrutinised these days. Bird's eye view there. Froggy. Trent Dumont. There's Cunners. Tom Murphy. Getting ready to go. Yeah, going live. Head back down.
Wow, what a picture that is. Lucky Hosey. Hose. How are you? Five minutes till training starts. Five minutes. Are you ready? Yeah, gotta get out there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can feel the tension building, all these boys trying to get out. Counters, hurry up. Go head out to training with the boys. This is a nice experience. Jasper, is this um, four minutes on the clock? Is this cutting it fine or is this all right? Uh, cutting it a little bit fine, but a few of us had mental strength this morning, so we we'll look after the mind in times like these. Keith, Jasper was just asking, is that your genuine work to work kit? Or did you wear something a bit more professional? Uh, he was asking, I was just relaying the question. Oh no, I think I'm alright. Thanks, Johnsy. You always look so sharp. Today you just got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> don't, get, don't get too close to <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit like that, Jas. Jasper understands wearing a bit kit that's a bit fashionable, don't you, Jasper? You have to fit in all the time. You do you, Heath. Exactly. I'll do me, Johnsy, you do you. Hedvig is worse, heading out for training. Tommy Murphy. Is coach, is coach out here yet? Yeah, I'm not. Don't know. Hey, so there Make he sure is. you got your drink bottles. He is. He's bucket hat. All right, we'll see if we can get the coach. Get Reese Shaw. Three minutes to go. Look at that on the clock. Probably get hit by a footy here. Hey, don't come out Kyron. Here he is. Excuse me, coach. Instagram live. Just want to ask you about training. Obviously about to get underway. Two minutes left on the clock. Um, how's the feeling around the group at the moment, just with the, the coronavirus and all that sort of stuff? You're keeping all the boys up, obviously. Yeah, no, it's, it's really good, mate. Well, the boys, this is a fantastic group. Um, we spoke about it yesterday. Uh, we want to we want to win, so we're, we're preparing to win. And, um, training today is really important to set up the week. So just explain the week for us. So today yep. is uh, is not the main session. Main session's on Thursday? Yep. Yeah, so main session Thursday. We'll have a uh, break tomorrow. It's a bit of a like, uh, night EP day for the boys. Um, but tomorrow's, uh, Thursday's the main session. Um, and then we really start preparing for St. Kilda, which is fantastic. So. All right, mate. Good luck with training. Everyone loves a bucket hat. <laughs> Will Walker wears it. Aaron Hall wears it. You wear it. No cool, fun. mate. Thanks, bro. Hey. <laughs> One minute fifty left. Aiden Bond is just putting on the finishing touches. Aiden, it's a bit of a race against the clock, isn't it? Like you got two minutes left, but you're ready to go. Yeah, I got one boot left. So one boot yeah, left. <laughs> so um, that should be fine. Who are you rocking there, mate? What kind of shoes do you wear? Oh, I got the Adidas. Adidas never this on this year, so I have to get a couple of games. Nah, not that one. Use second hand boots, so <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. And here's the boys, all their water bottles are all segregated into little areas so they know whose is whose. And uh, as we get closer to um, the clock here, Trent Demont's just gonna do a few more stretches. Yeah, limbering up, limbering up, Froggy. Yeah, yeah, a lot of sitting around the last couple of days with uh, meetings about the coronavirus and that. So. Yeah. Just get going. Yeah, how how is the feeling amongst all the players? Uh, it's a bit of a weird feel. Like you know, it's excited for round one. Or we think it's going ahead. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's different. Like we never experienced anything like this, and I think if you speak to anyone, they've never experienced anything like this. So um, it's that's that side of it's pretty exciting. But obviously, the health and safety of people is um, alarming at um, some in some ways. So. Uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully um, we can get on top of it and it doesn't spread anymore. All right, mate. Have a good training session. Sweet. I think I just spotted the uh, living legend, uh, Brent Harvey, so we might go over and get Boomer. There's Spud, another champion of our club, Spud. There's that uh, Charlie Common working with another legend of the game, Gavin Brown, superstar. And we're just going to go and see if we can interrupt... Um, Brent Harvey here. We're just um, interrupting here, boom. We're just um, Instagram live. Yeah. Um, we're just talking about training preparation. Obviously, we've got. Oh, there goes the siren. Sorry. <laughs> Does that mean you too, though? Yeah, 
Yeah, of course not. So we're going to get ready. We're going to set up drills now. What? So you're going to set up drills? The players will do their little mob thing where yeah, they all get together? Mob. We'll uh, set up, make sure that we're ready to go as soon as, the, uh, as, soon as they split up from mob. Well, cause you're, you're, you don't, do you have to get in this mob thing? No, or? I, don't, I don't mob up. Can you just explain to us what's happening then? Uh, so the boys normally put their arms around each other, but clearly they're not doing it today. Um, and they just talk about what's uh, what's needed today at training and what's expected and what the leaders want um, so going so forward. Robbie Tarrant's addressing the players just, just yeah, here. Yeah, just there, yeah. Just, yeah, just, just there. there, yep. No, Robbie. over here, mate. Just Is this it? Way. Sorry, yeah, just way. there. Yeah. Yep, so he's talking to the players. He's talk, yeah, he'll be just talking about expectations today. Short and sharp, I've just seen, only went for about 10 seconds. Uh, the boys know it's ready to go. Game day. Um, one question for you. Game day runner, yeah. did you enjoy the practice match running? Uh, I did, yeah. I'm not sure about the uh, uniform, but I enjoyed it. Okay, cool, man. Thanks. Then we get bold over here. All right, everyone, that's um, Instagram Live from Training. Marley, how are you going? <laughs> oh, <laughs> stay away. Um, that's Instagram Live. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're just trying to bring you behind the curtain a little bit at training. So, Heath O'Loughlin signing off.